Hello and welcome everyone. So today we will look at some sound cues. Now to demonstrate this, the closer we are to the location of the sound, the um, the louder the sound gets and the further away we move, um, the more the sound quiets down and um, at a specific distance the sound altogether um, stops um, spawning. So let's do that. So now I've um, set up a thing, when I press the F key, the cannon will fire. So right now you can see it's quite loud. Now I'll just walk away and keep pressing F so you guys can see the difference. And now we are outside the radius so the sound has stopped playing. And when we go back in, the sound again starts to play slowly, slowly. Right, so let's get started. So the first thing we need for this is we need a sound file. Now I'm using a Wave sound file, which um, I have um, downloaded from the internet. It's a, it's, a, it's a public domain file. So once you have your sound file, you want to right click on this and create queue from this. And once you create a queue, you can just uh, click here to, see, to um, hear the sounds. Uh, you can double click and open the queue and you get this area um, shown to you. Now you can um, you can change the settings down here, but uh, what we can also do is we can actually make a new blueprint here. So if I make a new blueprint, and we'll choose the actor class, and I'll call this BP underscore um, sound tutorial. Then we can double click and open this, and we can drag our new sound cue. So drag this. And drop that. Let me just move this out of way. So drag and drop that on the default scene route. Now this is where the uh, base of our sound will be. Now we can actually, what we can do is go ahead. First thing we want to do is turn off auto activate because we don't want the sound to play uh, by itself. We want to do something before it plays. So we need to um, check that and then we can do um, override. And now we can um, choose specific distances at which um, the sound will. So inside this circle, the sound will be the, uh, will be the loudest. And around here, the sound will start to quiet down. And outside this, there will be no sound. Now we can also change these values down here. So this, um, the radius will um, determine this uh, thing down here, the M small sphere. Or we can choose whether we want to be a sphere, a capsule, box, or cone. And the fall off distance is the big sphere around here. I'm just going to turn up these um, um, low pass filters as well. I'm going to turn this to 400 and then enable listener focus, enable. Now these are the settings that you have to really play, uh, um, play around with too. You can leave them like this, it's, it still works nicely but if you're looking for that specific um, for example if someone's talking to you then you want to mess around with them. So we'll leave this like this and we can compile this and we'll head over to the event graph. Now here we can do is we can do is um, event begin play and then play sound cue. I'm just going to set the start timer to point 0.1 because um, at, at the beginning of my sound file there is a bit of noise and then we can do that or what we can do is we can at event begin play we can do enable input and then get player controller And then when the key, I'll do the key H and I'll type input. So whenever we press the H key, the sound will play. So now we can compile this and we can go ahead and drag out our blueprint for the sound down here. So I'm just also going to add um, something here as a reference so we know where the um, origin location of our sound is and we can go ahead and click play. Now when I press the H key, right now we are quite close to the sounds, and as we start to move away, I'll keep pressing the key. Now as you can see, the sound starts to quiet down, and as we move back in, um, it gets louder and louder. So this is it guys, I hope you guys found this useful. I only um, learned this today, so I thought I'll um, share this with you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.